Hello everyone. Welcome to Mentor Space. My name is Deepak and I welcome you all to another important scheme session. So in today's session, we are going to cover a very important scheme that is New India Literacy Program. Now, this video will be important for your upcoming RBA Grade B as well as NABARD Grade A examination. Let's begin this video. Before starting this video, I would like to request you all to kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, to receive a free current affair PDF, you can always subscribe to our Telegram channel. Link is in description. Guys, currently we are running a complete non-static course for RBA Grade B 2023 examination. In this course, we are providing you complete non-static coverage of topics mentioned in your syllabus. That is economic survey, union budget, all important reports mentioned in your syllabus. In our current affairs magazine, we are covering all important newspapers and website which makes it a complete and comprehensive magazine for your RBA Grade B 2023 examination. Other than that, with this Current Affairs Magazine, we are providing you MCQs on weekly basis to practice or check whether you are preparing current affairs on good level or not. Also, in this course, we are providing you a Scheme Space Magazine, in which we are covering 200 most important schemes from end to end. So that this will be important. This will be helpful for your phase one as well as phase two of your examination. In this course, we are also covering RB website, covering important notification, bulletins, press release, circular, and etc, etc. So that this will be helpful for your examination. Now, if you want to check out this course or enroll in this course, I'll share the link of this course in the video of this lecture. To check out the course, link is in the video of description of this lecture. Okay? Now, New India Literacy Program. We are going to discuss about this scheme that has been launched okay, to cover 5 crore non-literates in the age group of 15 year and above. Now the eligibility of this particular scheme is given in the headline of this, uh, this slide that is those who are 15 year and above and are non-literate are eligible to enroll under this scheme. And the target of this scheme is to cover at least 5 crore non-literates okay? who are under the uh, who are of 15 years or of above age okay now let us discuss about this scheme in detail now this is a centrally sponsored scheme centrally sponsored means is central and center government and state governments both are providing funding under this scheme okay now this is a centrally sponsored scheme and the implementation period of this scheme is or the tenure of this scheme is five years that is from financial year 2022-23 till to financial year 2026-27 uh, guys can you remember this that this scheme was launched in 2022 so the financial year from 2022 2023 this scheme is going to implement it till financial year 2026 27 so for five years the tenure of this scheme is this okay? financial outlay of the scheme is rupees 1037.90 crore okay and central share would be rupees 700 crore, state share would be 337.90 crore. Okay, these this is a very important detail about this scheme. Okay, so can you remember this? <clears throat> now, what are the objectives or components of this particular scheme? Okay, under this scheme, foundational literacy and numeracy will be provided to all the eligible individuals. Now, those who are non literates. Okay, a basic literacy and a numeracy will be provided to them so that they could learn further. Okay. Now, other components under the schemes are critical life skills. And life skills which are critical for us is like financial literacy will be provided, digital literacy will be provided, means they will be taught how to operate a mobile, how to operate a computer. This is known as digital literacy. Commercial skills uh, will be uh, will be given to them then healthcare and awareness will be uh, healthcare and awareness skill will be provided to them child care and education and then family welfare okay <coughs> these are the important critical life skills that will be provided under this scheme next is vocational skill development vocational skill development mean they will be taught that how to express themselves how to sell anything okay so that they could obtain any kind of local employment okay so so that they could um, uh, obtain any kind of employment okay under this scheme third is third component is basic education preparatory middle and secondary stage equivalent 
education will be provided to all the eligible individuals next is continuing education continuing education means that adult education courses courses which we learn in or uh, uh, say college or after the senior secondary uh, examination like arts science technology this education will also be provided to them okay arts science technology culture sports recreation and other topics of interest or use to local learners so this will be under the continuing component of this particular scheme okay now the target for foundational literacy and numeracy for financial year 2020 27 so the during the tenure the tenure of this scheme is uh, five year but during the tenure of this particular scheme five crore learners or say one crore learner per year is the target is to enroll them and to provide them the basic education or this component that we were discussing in our last slide the target is to enroll at least 5 crore learners under this scheme and by using the technology online teaching learning and assessment system okay in collaboration with national informatics center ncert and nius nius means national institute of open schooling okay so with the collaboration of these institution like national information informatics center ncert and nius target under this scheme is to enroll at least 5 crore learner okay in 5 years of this particular scheme now this scheme will be implemented through volunteerism through online mode so this scheme all the education under this scheme will be provided through online mode and this is a volunteer scheme if anyone is volunteering under this scheme uh, they can provide education to these individuals okay now under this scheme government or aided school register under unified district information system for education that is udis are the units of implementation okay so units of the implementation are government or aided school that are registered under udis okay so udis is a platform of government under which from all the recognized schools in the country data will be collected okay so with the help of this data some policies will be designed some program will be designed okay so those schools government schools or aided schools which government aided schools which are registered under this udis these are the unit of implementation of this scheme okay now flexibility will be provided to states and union territory so that they could take innovative activities under this scheme okay under this scheme also technology will be used to impart adult education for wider coverage of the scheme so technology will be used since this is a scheme where online mode will be used to provide the education okay now under the scheme material and resources will be provided through digital modes okay all the all the like pdf or uh, education like will be provided through tv radio cell phone based free and open source app portals etc etc okay so material or resources will be provided through these digital modes next is assessment tests will be conducted in the schools and assessment on demand through otlas and generation of e certificate will be so certificate will be provided after the assessment and assessment will be done in the schools or on online mode okay next is sample achievement survey so a survey will be conducted every year for randomly 500 to 1000 selected learners from each of the state so that government could know that how this scheme is getting progressed in this scheme or is individuals are getting benefit from this scheme okay so a survey will be conducted every year under this scheme now the funding pattern now since this is a centrally sponsored scheme centrally sponsored scheme there will be role of both central and state government in providing funding under this scheme now central and state shares will be in the ratio of 60 to 40 okay for all the states for all the states other than north eastern states the central and share uh, state share would be 60 is to 40 okay for northeastern and himalayan states it would be 90 is to 10 90 will be provided by central government and 10 uh, will be provided the, by these northeastern and himalayan states okay talking about union territory for union territory with the legislature it will be 60 40 except in the case of union territory of jammu kashmir where the ratio would be 90 is to 10 for all other union territory without legislature it would be central would be providing 100% of the funding okay 
so that's all about this scheme hope you have liked this lecture or this lecture has added some value to your knowledge do, do press the like button if you like this lecture also do share this video in your friend circle who are preparing for regulatory bodies examination or say any government examination since this lecture will be important for all the examination and if you have any query related to any of our courses uh, you can always mail us at info at the right mentor space dot in okay or you can always call or whatsapp us at 9782724139 okay so see you tomorrow till then prepare hard